Your fish might be having dropsy, your fish might be having the bloated stomach, your, the tummy of your fish is up while the back is down, you know, swollen. Your fish might be having some white patches on the head and, all the body, and on the body. Your fish might be having rotten fin. There is no fin in your fish. The fish, they are chopping off. Both the, 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 the hind and then the, the, all the fin, they are going off. They are having sore, white sore, red sore on their body. No, this is not normal. hello guys welcome back to my channel welcome to fish academy is your humble friend kufre iban francis founder first fish academy today's video i want to show you guys how to treat various fish diseases using venonia amygladina am i trying to speak grammar no using beta leaf all right venonia amygladina all right so there are a lot of fish diseases and then a lot of people have lost their fish due to fish diseases. What actually is the solution to treatment of fish? A lot of people uh, apply uh, uh, organic treatment while others do inorganic treatment. All right. So today we're going to discuss treatment of fish using the organic uh, system. All right treatment of fish using organic system all right because whatever what you use in treating your livestock it means that whenever another person is eating that fish maybe when it, is, it has been sold to the market that that person still take part of what was used in treating the fish all right so that's why we advise organic treatment all right rather than the inorganic so today as i mentioned earlier we're going to use the venolia amygladina plant otherwise known in my language as atidot and in Igbo onugu and in Hausa language uh, shaka shaka all right and then in yoruba you also have your name a lot of countries a lot of languages have name for this plant and I would like you to use the comment section. Help your neighbor, help your countryman, help your, your native person to also understand this leaf that we are using, in, that we are going to use to treat this fish. Watch carefully and then watch to the end. See how we are going to apply. The quantity that we are going to apply. The size of fish that we are actually going to use to treat this you must treat your fish whenever needs arise i always tell my client my customers you don't even need to wait until your fish are having issue before you do the needful however what are the real causes of fish diseases at times you are to be blamed when you don't change your water when there are a lot of feed materials in your pond water is not being changed you begin to have fungus things growing in the body of your fish automatically it will lead to death but after you have changed your water luckily you have you've happened to check on our channel you now see, you see a, a solution channel to fish farming problem and then you've changed your water your fish are still dying what is how, how what is the best way to go about it the best way is venelia venonia amygladema atidot onugu all right so this is exactly what i'm going to do i'm not going to show you guys how to blend because a lot of you guys most of the times you don't have uh, you you finally uh, because of data a lot of you are going to be scrolling skipping this video but i tell you once you skip you miss that is the the real secret when you skip my video you miss a lot all right so what i'm going to do uh, how i'm going to do this is that i'm going to quickly blend this atidot I'm going to quickly blend this uh, Venonia amygladina and then apply it. All right, so this is it. All 
Okay, so I'm done blending the the bitter leaf, the Venalia amygladina. So we're gonna sieve it. So right here we have our fish okay so we going to apply the bitter leaf juice to it in order to prevent any disease that was to like come up in this uh, nursery pond exactly how to treat your fish using the Vanonia amygladina, using the Artidote, using the Onogu, using the Shaku Shaku. As I said earlier, this is a simple way of treating your fish. You don't need to run to the pharmacy. Just get to your backyard. That's why I always advise you guys, have this plant in your farm so that if there is any issue, you solve your problem with what you have in your facility in another video on how to treat your fish i will show you guys another plant you can you can actually use to treat your fish but until i come your way again i remain your humble friend kufre ibanga francis founder first fish academy share this video if you find it helpful and then if you have watched a video of this before and then you it actually worked for you. Still use the comment section. Share your experience with Fish Academy, with Bitter Leaf, with Tonugu. God bless you. Bye. All right.